Good evening, everybody, here and before the Grammys. Uh, I'm CBS 11 meteorologist Jeff Ray. Uh, no early show today because of the basketball, and then we'll be on late tonight because of the Grammys. This time lapse from this morning when it was raining. Uh, several waves of rain moved over Dallas, all light, but uh, counted about six times it rained before it cleared out. And boy, did it clear out nicely this afternoon. Official high was 74 this afternoon. Gorgeous day. 56 was the low with the clouds and the rain. It was the first time in four nights that we had a morning low that was below the average high, or at least, you know, not around the average high. We've had some extremely warm mornings late, some record mornings. Seven hundredths of an inch of rain. We ended up with a quarter inch of rain uh, for the two, the whole event because we had rain the night before. That was where the really heavy rain was, where the tornado outbreak was out in the panhandle. And by the time it came to us, there wasn't much left. There's some lightning, some very gusty winds in the overnight with those storms. But you can see Mineola got to about a little over a third of an inch of rain. And that was uh, the biggest rain I saw. If you're wondering why you could open up the windows this afternoon, because it had been humid since Wednesday. We'd had dew points in the 60s since actually last Tuesday. And look what happened when that rain cleared out. This front that came through, these are the dew points. So the lower they are, the drier the air. Dew points in the 60s in the overnight hours and the early morning hours, the front comes through and the dew points drop down into the 30s in the afternoon. The relative humidity got down to 20%. So really dry air came in through the balance of the day and that's what helped clear out the skies. Now that dry air warms up really nicely. Tomorrow we'll have sunshine. Tomorrow it's 80 degrees for an afternoon high. Typical high this time of year, upper 60s. We're gonna be 80. Tomorrow we're going to be 81 on Tuesday, and that's with some cloud cover because Tuesday night into Wednesday early we've got some rain and thunderstorms to talk about. That huge storm system. I'll talk about the snow here in a minute that brought up the heavy snow up to the Front Range in the mountains and the Rockies. It's still spinning around. This is Monday morning. It's still spinning around tomorrow morning. Another one comes on shore in California, and look what it does. It kicks out this one. So that one disappears and this one becomes dominant because right over the central plains and it, it brings us a chance of rain and thunderstorms Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And there could be some strong thunderstorms with this one as well. The storm outlook for Tuesday night, it, this would be Tuesday day, Tuesday night. The slight risk is up in Oklahoma. That's where the greater risk of severe weather is. And down below, it's a marginal risk, so it's not zero, the risk of severe weather. And we, it could be severe weather and large hail, damaging winds, even isolated tornadoes. We'll keep you posted on it. So back to the huge spring storm and the snow that's going on. You can see it's still spinning around here on this Sunday afternoon. The snowfall totals continue to rise. This is what they're expecting here after what's already fallen. Another 10 inches in Denver, another foot in Estes Parks, maybe another 15 inches up in Wyoming. Up in Wyoming, this is going to be a record March snow for them. All right, seven day forecast around here. Again, the next chance of rain is Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. I know Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day, it does look like this system clears out by St. Patrick's Day afternoon, at least, and then some cooler weather behind it. We'll be in the 60s on Thursday, Friday, even on Saturday. So very pleasant weather, low humidity as well. The only caveat about the next four or five days, it's going to be very windy. Look at the wind speeds down at the bottom of the graph. You can see tomorrow winds out of the west, 15 to 25, and you just read it left to right. Look at Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day, all those parades, a lot of people outside in the afternoon, early evening. The winds are going to be out of the northwest, 20 to 30. I think the stronger winds will be early on in the day, but still a very breezy day in store for us. We have the Grammys tonight. We'll see you after that.